here is a vintage JC Penney's box fan, which is of course a rebranded Lakewood. Um, it's got thermostat control. I picked this up off of uh, Craigslist for 15 bucks, and you know it was one of those things where it's like, eh, I already got a few of them, but at this price, why not? It's got a few broken slats. These blades came off a spare fan I had laying around. The original blade was bent like right around that area really bad and if I were to polish it you'd been able to tell. Uh, it's got a thermostat and all that. It's got some rust, some battle scars. Most of the rust being down in the cabinet down there. It's got a McMillan motor. Uh, I took the cages to the car wash and tried cleaning them the best I could but that car wash sucks. But, oh well, it's got a big dent right there. Well, scrape and a dent. So, it hasn't lived its life without getting its battle scars, that much is for sure. So, here's, hi. Medium. And low. These Lakewoods are very quiet on low, I've noticed. I actually have another one over there, but with push button controls and a thermostat. Um, let's see. Thermostat does kick the fan off. As well as it does also kick it back on. Back to medium. Back to high, and back to off. And it's got a really good coast time. I haven't really even oiled it yet. I just decided to throw it all back together mid cleaning like this because it looks good enough to take a video of with the blades all polished and everything. And it does have that infamous Lakewood metallic hum to the motor when you start it. I'm going to try to get that here. Don't know if it got it or not, but if it did, you'll hear it, and I'll hear it. And I know it's kind of hard to hear because I got the big old blue B&E 16-inch desk fan running over there. It's been running all summer long. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and there will be more to come.